The team sheets are in. Hello and welcome to Collingwood TV's new show, Team Sheet. My name is Sarah Allen and I'll be your host each week as we take a look at the ins and outs of the selected side. Joining me here in studio is AFL Media Senior Reporter Peter Ryan. Pete, we have finally made it to round one. Isn't it great to be talking footy again? Big game for the Pies. I can hardly wait for Saturday night. Up at the Gabba against Brisbane Lions. Should be a cracker. Let's get stuck straight into it and see what side we have selected for that match. We'll start with the back line. We have Alan Tuvey, Nathan Brown, Ben Sinclair, Marley Williams, Jack Frost and Adam Oxley making up the back six. And in the ruck, Brody Grundy gets the nod over Jared Witts, who's recovering from injury. Yeah, big responsibility for Brody Grundy. He did it really well last time he played against Brisbane, round 21 at the MCG. Took four contested marks, seven marks. He's up against Matthew Lewenberger and Stefan Martin, the duo from Brisbane. He's the man to do it. He's almost like an extra midfielder, Sarah, when he gets going. Uh, really looking forward to how he goes Saturday night. Let's hope he can do it again on Saturday night. Grundy will be aiming to provide first use to Taylor Adams and the skipper Scott Pendlebury in the middle of the ground. New Magpies Travis Barco and Jack Crisp join Steel Sidebottom in the midfield. And in the forward line, we have Dane Swan, Jesse White, Tyson Goldsack, Jamie Elliott, Travis Cloak and Alex Vasolo. Jackson Ramsey, Jared Blair, Tom Langdon and Jordan Dugowie round out the side on the interchange, Pete. Yeah, well, it's a big game, as we know, away for the first time for 25 years playing round one interstate. Collingwood's got a well-deserved uh, reputation of being good on the road. I think they'll go well again. The interesting matchups are going to be who goes to beams. There's not an obvious tagger now with Brent McCaffrey out of the side. Jared Blair's been tried in that position. I'm not sure he's the right person. My... My take on it is that Jack Crisp might have that big job. He's up against his old side again. Um, Collingwood, their record up in the Gabba's good recent times, four from six, but we know Collingwood's been a good side over that period. The battle of the midfields will be critical because Collingwood's certainly got a better Travis Cloak up forward for Zolo, a better goal-kicking power than Brisbane. I think the Pies can get the ascendancy in the midfield. They can win the game. Well, let's hope they do exactly that. Now, Pete, every week we'll take a look at highlights and analyse match play with the award-winning Piero 3D sports graphic system. It's used around the globe by all the top broadcasters. This week, assistant coach and former skipper Scott Burns took a look at our off-season recruit Jack Crisp, some of his pre-season highlights. We're really excited to uh, have Jack Crisp in the side for this weekend's game against Brisbane, back against his old team. He's had a terrific pre-season and we've got a few clips that we'll show you now of the reason why he's got a game and uh, what he'll add to the side on Saturday night. So the first clip we've got, this is Crispy, he's got uh, a very good tank, he covers the ground very well, so he's spread away from congestion is very good, he creates a lot of overlap for us, um, no matter where he's playing, whether he's on ball or whether he's on a wing or as a high forward. The thing we do like with him as well is his size, he's a big body, he understands um, the, uh, I guess the awareness that he has inside to know what's going on, whether to, as you can see there, whether he walks or whether he sets up his teammates with hands. The next three clips we've got are with Crispy in the centre bounce. So in here you can see it first hand, um, attacks the ball hard, knows where side he is, real quick clean hands from inside. Here again, I think he's the target here at a, at a centre bounce. So on his opponent, comes inside, quick, quick hands, quick giveaway. And the last one in here as well, not quite clean with the first take here, but hunts the ball very well, butters up and gets it to a, a teammate in a better position. So he can certainly add a fair bit to us inside. And uh, the other thing we've really liked about him is he, he's bought into our defensive side of our game. So these next two clips are hidden tackling. Here he's chasing down uh, Zhang, who's got some really good pace. So to do that shows that he's uh, deceptively quite quick, crispy. And the next one now is um, against Hawthorne. Um, really good positioning there to, to tackle Hartung, he's also quite light in his feet and quite agile as well. So uh, he's got a lot going for him, Crispy. Um, he's still in the really early stages of his development, uh, can play multiple roles. We like him because he covers the ground well, big size, 190 centimetres, so he can add to us inside in the centre bounces and around stoppages. But also what he does supply is a fair bit of run on the outside and can cover the ground quite well, which will be important. Um, throughout uh, his career and certainly for us. But as I said, he's just at the start. Um, there's a long way to go. He's developing nicely, but it's great that he's got the opportunity Saturday night. 
Great insight there into Jack Crisp. Collingwood TV caught up with him and our other debutants at training today. Glenn Moriarty was there. Nathan Buckley put his men through their final paces here at the Westpac Centre before flying out to Brisbane tomorrow with a training session that lasted for approximately 90 minutes with senior players Scott Pendlebury and Dane Swan training strongly. Collingwood TV had the chance to catch up with three of the debutants that will be playing their first game for the Pies in Travis Varco, Jack Crisp and Jordan Degoe. Yeah, I'm really excited to be obviously told the news that I'm be debuting this week. Obviously, it's a, it's a massive rush for me and a, a lot of excitement. But um, yeah, so I got told by Bucks obviously um, not too long ago. So yeah, I'm just grateful to get the opportunity and look forward to uh, representing the Collingwood Football Club. I'm looking forward to it. It's just um, you know, new face at the club and um, just get out there with these young guys um, and you know just mix it up with them. It, it'll be great. Uh, I'm feeling very excited to play my first game, especially back up at the Gabba. So it feels like I've been away for a while, but really it's only been six months. And I'm looking forward to going back up there and running on familiar territory. Yeah, it's been mixed emotions. <laughs> Obviously, firstly, with the AFL getting fined, and then uh, a couple of days ago getting engaged, and now playing my first game for the Collingwood. So it's been a big week. Poor old Jack Crisp there, Sarah. He's uh, had a big week, hasn't he? Opening his wallet, 5000 to start the week, and then he had to fork out a rock for his engagement. Congratulations, Jack. <laughs> I hope he has a good game on Saturday night because he needs a cement his spot to pay off his debts. <laughs> He's still got to pay for the wedding as oh, well. Oh, no. He'll be there all, all game. He's good motivation for Jack. Exactly. Thank you so much for your time today, Pete. That's it for our first episode of Team Sheet. Thank you so much for joining us. It's time now to buckle up for a big Saturday night at the Gabba. Go Pies!